morning. Uh, well, actually, afternoon. I'm starting late. I got a little something in my eye, man. It's got my eyes squinting up. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a little late start. Uh, I was doing some other things. I got up this morning and uh, you know, did some kind of like a meditation. Uh, use my singing bowl. Singing bowl is just use vibration. You know, vibration is good for a lot of things. You know, vibration is good for us. Uh, I kind of just concentrated, just sat in the bunk and just, you know, kind of like a meditation a little bit. Um, I brush my teeth, wash my face, all that stuff. I'm about to uh, do my job with my elevation mask. You know, what you see me on the treadmill with. I'm going to stretch first. I'm going to do, do my jog around here. And then I'm going to do my workouts. Uh, use my first shower. And then uh, I basically just got to sit for today. So I'm going to utilize my time wisely and, you know, read. I deleted all my apps, uh, all my social media apps. So I'm just going on concentration mode. I also... Uh, I'm using for the next few days or however long I can. I'm gonna just use all natural products. I'm not. I'm not gonna use deodorants. I'm not gonna use toothpastes. Uh, toothpaste, however you say the plural word for that. So I'm making my own stuff. I'm making my own everything. So I'm making my own toothpaste uh, out of uh, baking soda, black sea oil, and coconut oil. I'm making my own deodorant out of key lime, baking soda, and black sea oil. Um, you, my lotion is black sea oil. And I'm putting it in my hair too. Um, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna make my own soap. I still gotta figure out what kind of soap I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna make my own soap. I'm gonna just do natural products for the next few days to see if I can cleanse myself. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm just trying to utilize my time out here. You know, I know a lot of truckers, when they get out here, they kind of lose themselves. They're eating a lot of gas station foods. And I'm trying to reverse that ideology and do it the other way. Like, show people that you can be healthy out here and you can uh, cleanse yourself. Um, so, yeah, so I'm about to do my workout. I'm not going to record my workout this time. You know, I want to kind of focus on that. So, yeah. The workout so good you felt like you got stronger right then and there i know it take time for you to you know change your body after working you know what i'm saying but you know they did a workout so good you like man i know i got to have an ab now or something for real that was good i like that time to get ready for the shower use the water is nice and cold and it's full I, I kept the one from last one to get the rest of it out of there I added some more to it. This time I added some rinds in there. Last time I peeled the grapefruit rinds off. This time I'm going to keep them in there. Let's see how that goes. So for today, I used baking soda for soap. Um, I just I just put a little bit of baking soda in my hand. got my face. And then I took my little loofah, whatever you call it, my little scrubber. Put baking soda straight on that. And I ain't going to lie, like my skin felt so smooth after that it's kind of because baking soda is kind of gritty too so it's a good for scrubbing my body felt <laughs> like super clean after that and then i use black sea oil for lotion and um i ain't gonna lie it's a it's a smooth feeling i'm trying to keep my uh my camera up because i ain't, I ain't put my shirt on yet i'm trying to let this uh black sea oil soak in but yeah yeah, it felt good. I ain't gonna lie. I think I'm, think I'm gonna just uh, the next time I do a personal convenience, I'm gonna just grab a bunch of uh, boxes of baking soda so I never run out of it. And um, yeah, that's gonna be my new soap. The deodorant. I will let y'all know how that goes later on in the day. You know, I obviously I can't. Most of, I've done natural soaps before, and most of the time you have to do, put it on like twice a day, but it works though. Sometimes it. Now I've had used certain deodorants that 
you didn't have to put it on for a couple of days. Like it really worked that good, but you know, you just try different things and see how they work. So I'm gonna see how this deodorant works. I use lime, uh, lime, black seed oil, dash of baking soda. So we're gonna see. I'm pretty bored. So I'm gonna advance my load even farther. I found the gloves. Within like 20 minutes of my destination. Right now I'm like 50 minutes away. So I'm just gonna advance my load a little bit to another love stop. And uh I just I just got bored and I just wanna get even closer. That way I don't gotta get up as early. 20 minutes away and give me a good time. So, you know, I just finished my pre-trip. About to head that way. I got a bump. For a plant, I had I made a mistake and had it leaning up against the windshield, and I guess the windshield was hot. Let's see if I can heal him up. Um, the loves that I chose was completely full. People were parked all on the side, so I had to settle for this random place. It's a truck stop with a 7-Eleven, so do my post trip do my 39 which is my put a code in every time you back up now it's gonna be difficult to turn out of here i ain't even gonna exaggerate but i think i can just pull out this way we'll see but yeah i'm gonna uh, do my codes and go from there uh, right across the street from the 7-eleven is a dollar general so I go see. I've been looking for a Dollar General. So I'm gonna go see what's over here, and I'm gonna call it a night, man. I saw this a Dollar General with fresh. Fresh produce. Uh, dang, it's a sun set behind me, but uh. I noticed something that I'm really the only person that says excuse me like that. Like I'm I'm such a polite person. Like even if I just cross your path, I say excuse me. If I walk, if you're looking at something and I have to cross your path while you're looking at it, excuse me. If I'm in your if if I notice that you were trying to look at something and I walk and I kind of like block your view. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, no problem. You know, it's it's usually not a problem, but I noticed, like, just when I was in that store, I said, excuse me, like, four different times, and nobody even said anything. Like, it just, it, it just kept moving, kept pushing. I don't know. I just wanted to say that. It was just random. A long summary when I get back in the truck. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to just do an update. What I got when I was there, I got uh, more baking soda because I'm using that as soap and different things toothpaste and all of that so i i said let me have enough so i don't have to keep trying to find it uh i got fresh lemons more limes because i'm using that with my deodorant um and then some like superfood drinks got a lot of good stank things in them dollar tree thank you i meant dollar general thank you and uh yeah i think that's it but uh yeah, I do a, you know, just a final note before I pack it in for the night. At the end of the day, you know, I, I did a lot of sitting today, a lot of thinking. Um, and I just want to say this, like, for anybody who's just getting started in trucking or thinking about doing trucking and, and just so happen to be seeing this video, I know my videos don't get a lot of views, but it's just for anybody that might may see it. Um, it would, for me personally, it was a tough decision, you know, uh, you know, cause I got, I have younger kids, you know, and, uh, the reason why I chose trucking is because it's a, to me, it's a great industry to get experience in, um, to where you can have a long, a long career, no matter where, no matter what happens, 
you're going to always need truckers, you know, and I, I felt like it was a foolproof industry. Um, and it gave me an opportunity because I had lost my place in the hurricane. I lost everything. I lost my car. I lost my job. Trucking gave me an opportunity to be on, to basically not be homeless. You know, like that's really what it did for me, like to make money. And I'm basically just living out of the, you know, living out of the truck. I do I do have a family house to go to and all this stuff, but I'm talking about just having my own place. Um, it did that for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest from my personal experience. Um, but for anybody that that's trying to get into trucking, I would say, man, really think about it. Hold on real quick. All right. Sorry about that. But, um, it's it's not it's not for the weak man. You gotta when people get the idea of oh I'm gonna be traveling and all of that, like you it's, it, you can't sightsee while you're driving. It's like you you driving, you know you you pass by things and you know whatever. But it's not like you can be like oh my load ain't due to tomorrow. I'm gonna stop here and go to. It's not like that. So don't think that you're just gonna be out here just really really traveling now it's cool to see things you know like it's cool to see things and experience different at, different atmospheres but don't get under the impression like you're just going to be able to just stop anywhere and do all of, nah it ain't it ain't like that um really i really wish i would have found trucking 10 years ago it would have been perfect for me i would have been out on the road just out just making money you know uh which i'm still I'm trying to balance that, you know, obviously with the kids, you know, my daughter, she been saying she missed me and stuff like that. But um, I'm trying to, you know, I, I, you know, like I said, I got my Twit card. I got my hazmat. I got all these things to elevate my career. And I want to show my kids that it was worth it, that, you know, the time that they missed with me. I want to turn this into a thing where it's like, see, you know, I have these things because I took these sacrifices you know, and, um, you know, if it, for anybody out there that does have kids or have a family or have a wife or whatever, I would just say, you know, really think about it, you know, cause most of the, most of the time they're going to want you to go over the road, over the road is where you get your real experience. Um, like me, like the reason why I even chose to go from one truck stop to the next one, because I wanted more experience to back up, you know? So, you know, you just, you know, just different things, you know? So, I would say, you know, really just do it because you, you think you might have a passion for it and you think it might be great for you, you know, um, you know, don't do it for the money, you know, or I mean, I ain't gonna say don't do it for the money, but don't let that be the main motivator because you want to be happy. It's a dangerous job. You want to be able to, you want to be happy. You want to concentrate. You want to know what's to come. So do all your research on it and you know i'm i'm look hold on real quick again all right um one thing i will say is that i feel like trucking is going to save my life like i really genuinely feel like that for dip, deeper reasons that you know i get into maybe another time when you know i build up a real rapport with people um and to let them into my life like that but i really do feel like trucking will save my life you know it's just the opportunities and and then look at the stuff i'm doing like the health stuff i'm able to concentrate on it it's real hard to diet when you when you're not the only person living in a place you know and you gotta manage your money as far as how you spend the money on your on this and that when you eating dinner a lot of people people don't realize that eating together is like a symbol of togetherness so like when you at home you don't want to be giving somebody one meal and then you to get in another meal. It kind of feel off a little bit, you know, I, and I, I'm speaking from experience when I was engaged, like I was on a strict diet and she wasn't and she had cooked food and be like, well, you're not going to eat with me, you know? So it's like, it's hard to diet. So I'm, I'm, I'm really getting into all of these things and I'm, you know, I'm really grateful, you know? So I think trucking is really going to, push my life to another level and I'm happy about it.